I spend time understanding customer needs and really driving towards what our customer goals are. So I started out as a synthetic organic chemist um, and I started out in pharma, a very typical um, synthetic organic chemistry background doing synthesis at the bench. What I'm doing is helping the scientists focus on science. So rather than having to focus on the dynamics of the diagnostics or the dynamics of the analytical testing or the dynamics of, of all of the other components, they can focus on the science and, and the research portion of it. The challenge for anyone with a analytical and data-driven mind is to avoid the whole paralysis by analysis, right? So I can, I can look at data. I can, you know, come up with conclusions and those types of things, but at the end of the day, um, I still have to be very focused on, on customer need. Having started out in pharmaceuticals um, and then making a transition into supply chain and then making that further transition into more of a procurement role, I'm still leveraging analytical skills, I'm still leveraging communication and problem solving. The focus has changed, but I'm still using the same skill set. A lot of what I'm doing is data analysis, and so the training that I had around data and how to look at data and how to make sure that data that I collect is valid and impactful. The key difference between just being a problem solver and, and really being able to be part of the solution is ensuring that you're solving the right problems.